How are you? I hope you all are safe. Now, uh, in previous lecture only, we saw reactivity towards hydrogen. Okay, of our group 16 elements. Now, in today's lecture, we will say reactivity towards oxygen. Okay, so pay attention here. So, reactivity with oxygen or we can say what formation of oxide so see here reactivity towards formula is oxygen and reactivity towards oxygen we call it the what yes formation of oxides formation of oxides okay now uh, pay attention uh, how we form uh, oxides in that as you know whatever uh, all the elements of this group 16 element they are forming oxides having a formula uh, we will write a general formula of this EO2, EO3, okay. EO2 and EO3, EO2 and formula EO3. And where E stands for what? E is your element either O, S, S, A, T, O that is oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium. Okay. Now here uh, we will discuss about how they will form monoxides. Okay. So first concentrate on this monoxides uh, which compound generally form what monoxides. Okay. So here all the element except selenium form monoxide no doubt sulfur also form a monoxide by heating a mixture of by heating a mixture of say we will do the reaction of how sulfur monoxide is formed say sulfur monoxide is formed by heating of uh, sulfur dioxide plus your sulfur under reduced pressure under reduced pressure Okay, at uh, they give temperature also 425 to 475 Kelvin, okay, 2SO2 balance this reaction we use what? Beta stoichiometric coefficient, okay. Now it can be also prepared uh, by the action of silver on your thionyl chloride, by the action of silver on thionyl chloride, okay. So see here as you know. Uh, what will be the formula of your thionyl chloride? Okay, I think you know this. Okay, you must know. Uh, see, it can uh, whatever sulfur uh, monoxide, it can also be prepared by action of thionyl chloride. Thionyl chloride on what beta? Yes, silver. So you will get here what? Byproduct. Main product is of sulfur monoxide plus what? AgCl to balance the reaction take here to yes our reaction is balanced okay as you know what it is beta associated to is your what thionyl chloride i already discussed the uh, importance of this reagent associated to in the manufacturing of what hello alkanes in the manufacturing what beta hello alkanes okay now uh, we will discuss about our second that is Monoxide, so what? Now, what will be dioxide? So, we will see about the dioxide who they will form. Okay. So, say here, now second, dioxide. Now, in dioxide, see here, as you know, the formula of whatever dioxide are EO2. EO2 is what you simply Yes, element with uh, O2. Okay. Now, uh, there are say EO2 like that uh, we can write with SO2, uh, TO2, SO2, etc. Uh, we can mention. Okay. Now, see here generally how your dioxide is formed. Dioxide is formed like this say your sulfur is 8. When it what beta when it oxidize, when it oxidize, you will get what SO2 to balance this reaction. 
now see eight sulfur, eight sulfur here, sixteen oxygen. So here what we done? Eight. Okay. Now our reaction is balance. Okay. Means here whatever sulfur dioxide physical state also what your gas is. I hope you understood this reaction of dioxide. Now here we will discuss one of the important part that is hybridization of sulfur in sulfur dioxide. Okay, pay attention beta. because it is very much important. Okay, so see here we will discuss uh, will hybridization and how it came hybridization of your sulfur dioxide. Okay. See here, in SO2, as you know, the sulfur atom undergoes what? SP2 hybridization. Okay. Now, see here, how we will arrange this? Uh, we can mention here heading hybridization of sulfur in SO2. In SO2. So, as you know, what will be the hybridization beta? SP2. How? See here on the base of structure. See, first we will draw your structure as like this. Sulfur, there is a one lone pair of electron. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five, six, like this. Means there is a one lone pair. Okay. And plus here, what we are two sigma bonds and two pi bonds. And whenever our hybridization concept is there, so for hybridization formula is what? Yes, sigma bond plus lone pair. So one lone pair plus two sigma bonds. So cool mila ke how many hybridized orbital? Three hybridized orbital. Therefore, you will get what? Sp2 hybridization. Okay, now we will discuss here what will be the sulfur, okay, our sulfur in ground states. First we will discuss sulfur in ground state. What will be, what will be the outermost electronic configuration? As you know, yes, as you know, yes, uh, see here sulfur atomic number 16. So there are outermost electronic configuration. So uh, already I told. Uh, for group 16, what will be the outermost electronic configuration? Yes, 3H2, 3P4. And general, uh, general outermost electronic configuration for your group 16 is what? NH2, NP4. Okay. So for this sulfur, as you know, yes, 3H2, as like this, we will show 3H2. So it is 3H subcellular, 3P as like this. Okay, so 3P4 are there, so how we, how we will arrange, 1, 2, 3 and 4, like this, now see here, your 3D is empty first, 3D is what, empty, okay, now what will happen, there is a promotion of one electron from 3P subshell to 3D subshell, so we will mention here next step sulfur in sulfur in excited state sulfur in what beta excited state what will happen see here 3a subshell your as it is next what will happen in 3p promotion of one electron to where yes to 3d subshell in your excited state as like this okay so now we will discuss in this structure, okay, whatever these three, there is a one uh, total how many hybridized orbitals beta is uh, sp2 here as like this, as like this what beta, sp2 hybridization, I hope you understood this here, okay. Now, whatever another one electron is of for what lone pair, one more electron from here, we call it as a what lone pair. Okay, now from this 3 piece of shale, okay, from this 3 piece of shale, 
uh, what will happen see here uh, from this 3p subshell one electron from this 3p subshell they are forming what forming p pi p pi bonds with oxygen means they are forming what see one of the electron from 3p subshell what they are forming is we will write here that with oxygen and whatever from 3d one electron they are forming what yes obviously they are forming what say we will uh, mention here what there will they will be formed is correctly you identify with our p pi d pi bond with what beta with so we can represent like this after this structure okay see here see as you know sulfur okay like this your structure is there okay now in one whatever sulfur they are forming bond with what p pi p pi and another there is a bond what beta yes p pi d pi understood okay now see here uh, suppose if you are considering what beta the bond angle between the oso is slightly reduced from 120 degree to 119.5 so what will be the bond angle between these two is slightly decreased from 120 basically as you know what will be the geometry of this yes trigonal planar so for that beta trigonal planar uh, we can call it as a yes uh, bond angle what 120 degree so it is reduced to 119.5 degree okay so because of what because of your lone pair bond pair repulsion what beta lone pair bond pair repulsion means from this what we conclude that what your two pi bonds are different because of one forming p pi d pi overlapping and another they are forming p pi d pi overlapping okay so how we, uh, we will uh, represent diagrammatically also uh, we can uh, represent c c here how we can uh, represent this diagrammatically uh, how they are Or patterns and how they are showing what see over this sulfur okay okay like so as like this okay understood see it is this of sulfur from your sulfur okay your one beta is we can call it as the Sidewise overlapping with your P subshell of say as like this. Sidewise overlapping like this. We will draw this also one like this. Okay, it is what your oxygen. Okay, so see here. here what formation of p pi d pi bond is p pi d pi bond with with oxygen okay with oxygen i hope you understood and whatever these we call it as a what field field 3p orbital field 3p orbital okay i hope you understood uh, this thing clearly so we
is all correctly whatever orbital diagram also it is very very much important okay uh, we show, we show here of sulfur with oxygen okay now these are all about what your sulfur dioxide now here like sulfur so we will move towards our next point okay i hope you wrote this all of hybridization of sulfur in so2 okay see like a sulfur see other elements so we will discuss here other elements also forms say we can mention beta like sulfur like a sulfur other elements also forms or beta dioxides like we can mention here SCO2 also, okay, and this SCO2 is what? This SCO2 is white, white crystalline, what be the solid, okay. Now suppose हम अभी बात करे whatever SCO2 structure that is selenium dioxide. So uh, pay attention on this. SCO2 structure also it is uh, uh, very much important this also now see in gaseous state okay where beta in gaseous state it exists as it exists as discrete molecule okay discrete molecule having structure similar to SO2 having having structure what beta structure similar to so2 okay we will show in diagram a and in solid state and in solid state it has it has polymeric structure what beta it has a polymeric structure consisting of infinite chains consisting of infinite infinite chains okay so we will see in small way diagram so i will draw here how your aco2 looks like aco2 okay understood these are what your small a so there also o sulfur c okay like this we can uh, draw 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 understood so see we will discuss how we will occur in a uh, polymeric form okay in the solid state and the polymeric structure in gaseous state it is still having a similar to so2 structure okay so you must know this the as like I hope you understood uh, this. Now, what are TuO2 and PuO2 are also non-volatile crystalline uh, ionic solid. Okay, you can mention with the whatever TuO2 and PuO2. These are what? These are also non-volatile crystalline ionic solids. Now we will discuss regarding properties of this. What beta? properties of this sulfur dioxide properties of this dioxide okay 
so you can write so pay attention on this point see here how we will discuss the properties of this seminar properties now in properties as you know your uh, when sulfur dioxide it dissolves in water what is sulfur dioxide gas and your h2o liquid what you will get yes you will get sulfurous acid sulfurous acid okay h2 so 3 okay now uh, what about selenium dioxide so beta whatever your selenium dioxide is in water giving selenium acid having formula you can write h2so is h2so3 selenium what beta acid okay now see tu2 is almost insoluble in water okay we have to mention this Tu two is almost insoluble in water. Okay. However, Tu two, whatever tellur tellurium dioxide, dissolving alkalis. Okay. To form what? Tellurides. And in acids, to form what? Basic salts. Okay. Whatever the telluri uh, tellurium. dioxide to to dissolve in alkalis as well as well as what in acids also to form basic salt showing it has a property somewhere what amphoteric okay whatever to to we can call it as a what amphoteric in nature so why amphoteric in nature because they will dissolve in both acid they will react with both acid as well as bases i hope you know this thing theek okay. hai now suppose ab abhi baat kare reducing property of dioxide ki so you can mention beta here theek okay. hai reducing property of dioxide decreases from reducing property of dioxides okay decreases from so2 so2 to 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 decreases from so2 to 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 for example see here keep in mind so2 is so2 is what reducing agent reducing agent means what it oxidizes others okay oxidizes other therefore it what act as a reducing agent why why your tio one thing regarding your what h3 po2 i know i hope you heard this h3 po2 phosphenic acid or hypophosphorous acid okay what about h3 po2 yes h3 po2 is what you are a reducing agent h3 po2 is your reducing agent because it contains two hydrogen atoms so it self oxidize okay it self oxidize and dusra je kay karnar reduction okay like that your reducing agent it self oxidize and dusra je kay karnar reduction here also it self what beta it self reduce and dusra je kay karnar oxidation okay it is it will be clear uh, 
all in uh, whatever organic chemistry contain okay so i hope you understood this whatever regarding your dark sides contain okay now we will discuss the property regarding your trap side so pay attention beta okay see trioxides third we will discuss here trioxides see trioxides what will happen how we will prepare this uh one uh, whatever reaction we will discuss okay whatever now we are going to discussing for the preparation of trioxide okay so say your sulfur dioxide gaseous plus o2 gaseous in the presence of either platinum or vanadium pentoxide okay platinum or v2o5 as a catalyst okay at the two atmospheric pressure and uh, 250 sorry 450 degree celsius temperature okay you will get what two so three gases these are we here prepare what sulfur trioxide we prepared here okay now as you know uh, by the another method also uh, we can prepare our sulfur trioxide so pay attention beta why suppose this be considered as a small break method say by by the dehydration by the dehydration of by the dehydration Sulfuric acid, as you know, H2SO4. I have already discussed this reaction in our phosphorus-containing compound in group 15 element. Okay. So there, what we use the hydrogen agent, hydrogen agent H2SO4. So it has a tendency to remove a lot of water. So if we remove water from the H2SO4. Okay, I hope you understood this. Okay, this is true. With that, one another method also we can prepare. So see here, uh, suppose if we consider a small C here, so pay attention. When you are, when you are ferric sulfate, so see ferric sulfate. What will be the formula? Fe2SO4 minus. I do not cross over valency. When you hit this, uh, what will happen? See here. When you hit this, you will get what? Yes, you will get Fe two O three plus Fe two O three. Fe two O three solid plus Fe two O three gases, and these are also called your solid. And who will you have to do this for the preparation of what? Yes, for the preparation of your sulfur trioxide gases. Okay, like this, uh, we can prepare our sulfur trioxide. I hope you understood this content clearly. Whatever trioxide, how we, how you will prepare our trioxides. Okay. Uh, now we will discuss here uh, whatever next content. Okay. Next content we will discuss. As you know, uh, whatever our uh, this sulfur trioxide, sulfur trioxide also the structure we will see. Okay, regarding here sulfur trioxide. So pay attention with the sulfur trioxide. See. As you know, sulfur trioxide has like this six bonds are completed of sulfur one, two, three, four, five, six. 
okay now here what beta all whatever bonds are there okay one p pi p pi bonds and two what beta p pi d pi bonds are present in your yes present in your sulfur oxide p pi p pi one p pi p pi and this two are one p pi d pi like that i show i show in whatever are the hybridization of sulfur in sulfur trioxide theek hai and uh, they are what whatever uh, resonance structure also what equal theek hai now they will exist in trimer also whatever you are this so three they will exist in this so they will exist in theek hai here also you can have oxygen is so s theek hai is o s o s o here also here oxygen here oxygen here oxygen theek hai like this we can call it as a complete cyclic trimer cyclic trimer of what beta so3 okay now we discuss about uh, selenium trioxide also so pay attention on this selenium trioxide how so see here so3 exists as a monomer in vapors structure okay in crystalline solid state so that we will now uh, draw here clearly okay so see here we will uh, draw what will be the structure of in solid state okay so pay attention here i am drawing structure your ac o is e okay o as like this okay here also now what so here what is is e as like this okay now see here understood say like this here with oxygen means these are exist in what these are what about vapor state monomer and these are what in crystalline cyclic tetramer we can call it as a what beta yes cyclic tetramer so i am writing here so this we can as a small a small b cyclic tetramer it is a uh, ac 4o12 okay okay what we done ac 4o12 okay now that what in crystalline solid state in crystalline crystalline solid state you have to draw this clearly okay i hope you understood this seo seo linkage
you have to draw this all clearly neatly now see we will discuss the reactivity with the halogens of our group 16 electrons okay so pay attention pay attention here reactivity with halogens say you can write me down reactivity with halogens so reactivity with halogens we call it as a what we call it as a formation of halides formation of what beta halides okay now the stability of the halides stability of halides decreases in the order of the stability of halides decreases in the order of say we will discuss that first f minus then cl minus br minus i minus the fluoro chloro bromo i आयोडो ठीक है नाउ सपोज अभी हम बात करें मोनो हाइलाइट्स की व्हाट बेटा अबाउट अ मोनो हाइलाइट्स सो कंसंट्रेट ऑन दिस मोनो हाइलाइट्स मोनो हाइलाइट्स ठीक है मोनो हाइलाइट्स व्हाट वी विल सी अबाउट अ मोनो हाइलाइट्स अमंग दी Monohalides, the dimeric monohalides such as H2F2. So we will write here example among the dimeric monohalides such as H2F2. So they gave example H2Cl2, Hc2Cl2. Okay, are known and we can say Hc2Cl2 are Known, okay. These dimeric halides undergoes a disproportionation reaction. These, what be done? These dimeric halides. These dimeric halides undergoes what be done? Disproportionation. reaction so as you know what is the disproportionation reaction when in one element undergoes what oxidation as well as reduction we call it as what disproportionation reaction okay so we will take here a uh, example so pay attention on this example 2HCl2 okay that gives hc sorry 2hc2cl2 okay 2hc2cl2 that gives what hcl4 plus what beta 3hc so we can balance here 4hc yes here 3hc 1hc okay Three AC. Understood. Now see here. Uh, what uh, we have to uh, draw. We have to calculate the oxidation number. So here what beta plus one. Here what beta yes plus four. Here what zero means plus one to zero decrease in oxidation number. We call it as a what beta? Yes, decrease in oxidation number. So we call it as a what? Reduction. Yes. And from this plus one to this plus four, there is a what? Increase in oxidation number. So we call it as a what? Yes. 
ऑक्सीडेशन आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्लियर में ठीक है सो वी कॉल इट एज अ व्हाट हियर प्लस 1 प्लस 4 इंक्रीज इन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर एंड प्लस 1 टू 0 डिक्रीज इन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर देयरफॉर वी कॉल इट एज अ disproportionation reaction when in one element only that is what your selenium theek hai now suppose jab bhi hum baat kare dihalides ki okay we will see about dihalides we are got about your monohalides theek hai monohalides see now we will uh, move towards our second That is dihalides. So in dihalides, they are considering what will happen among the amongst dihalides. HCl2 is a base. HCl2 is a base node, and HCl2 what having angular shape. Angular shape. Ah, so better now angular shape. So we will see what will be the hybridized. So better way we will draw the structure of hybridized. Sulfur one, two, three, four. As you know, total bond must be bonding electron must be six. So as like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So actual this one geometry we can call it as a what distorted. What we da? स्टार्ट है थोड़ा सा सा कल ले ला है ठीक है चला आप अपन मंत्रो इन मराठी ओके द ज्योमेट्री इज व्हाट डिस्टॉर्टेड ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ लोन पेयर्स एंड द बॉन्ड एंगल इज अबाउट 103 डिग्री इंस्टेड ऑफ व्हाटएवर टेट्राहेड्रल एंगल सो फ्रॉम दिस व्हाट वी कंक्लूड इज हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज वन विद sp3 टू सिग्मा Bond plus two lone pair, so total four hybrid orbitals. So four hybrid hybrid orbitals is what is sp3 hybridization. So if you are considering sp3, then what will be the geometry tetrahedral? So tetrahedral, what will be the what will be the tetrahedral bond angle always? Yes, one zero four point sorry one zero nine point five degree. Okay, these are angle, but Due to the presence of lone pairs, it, this angle is reduced to how much? Yes, this angle is reduced to one zero three degree bond angle. Okay, I hope you understood regarding your dihalides. Now we will discuss about tetrahalides. Okay, uh, here only uh, we will discuss beta about what. से अर्थात टेट्रा हेलाइड्स टेट्रा हेलाइड्स सो सी हियर अबाउट टेट्रा हेलाइड्स व्हाट विल हैपन अमंग इज द टेट्रा हेलाइड्स टेट्रा हेलाइड्स टेट्रा फ्लोराइड्स आर मोस्ट ओके अमंग द टेट्रा हेलाइड्स Also, okay. Beta, you have to send your notes in PDF format. Okay. Whether you are writing or not, I have to cross check of everyone's notebook. Understood? You need to revise all. I already told whatever one one topic is must be clear with all concept, all content. Okay. See here, among is the tetrafluoride. See here, we will write among is this tetrafluoride. Some they write about the chemical, uh, whatever sorry, not chemical. Their physical state also they mention. So four is the gas. Okay. Now they mention HCO four is a liquid. HCO four is what the? Yes. Liquid and they wrote about PF4. 
tellurium tetrafluoride is soluble now here among this we will write sf4 is highly reactive sf4 among this what beta sf4 is highly reactive so we will draw the structure of here sf4 so see here as like this s f okay as like this we can mention sf4 so what will happen here as like this okay now what will be the hybridization of this what will be the hybridization is one sigma per plus four sorry four sigma one two three four four sigma bond plus one lone pair four sigma bonds plus one lone pair together what bio hybridized orbitals okay so we call it as the what what will be the hybridization total is c3 c one is this three four and is the bio so sf4 understood okay hybridization so what will be the here what will be the geometry instead of your sp3 is what sp3 is generally tbp that is trigonal bipyramidal geometry but here somewhere the geometry is different that is what seesaw what beta seesaw seesaw type geometry okay because of this lone pair bond pair repulsion what beta because of lone pair bond pair repulsion now we will discuss next the fourth one uh pentahalides regarding we will discuss pentahalides pentahalides So concentrate on this pentahalides part. Now here only the sulfur. Okay, only what beta? Sulfur forms one pentahalides. Uh, so you can write the formula also. S two. Sorry, S two F ten. What beta? S two F10, okay. S2 F10, in which, in which two SF5 units, in which two SF5 units are joined together, linked together, okay, and forming a what? Forming a octahedral geometry. Basically, it is a one monomer of SF5. So togetherly, we call it the what? S two F ten. So we will draw here the structure. So pay attention. How your this S two F ten looks? One is S okay fluorine as like this S F five one over. Now see here as like this. Take it. I hope you understood this. S two F ten. See sulfur also valence here. Sulfur is valence. One two three four five six. Take it. Including what? Octahedral geometry. Take it. Now we will discuss your next. Uh, that is our fifth. Hexahalides. Yeah. About hexahalides. So pay attention. In hexahalides. So see here in hexahalides, what will happen? Among these, among these 
it's all hexahalides. Only hexafluorides are stable. Only what? Hexafluorides are stable compounds. Only hexafluorides are what beta? Stable compounds. In that, in that we will SF6 is extremely stable, extremely stable and we can say extremely stable and we can say what chemically inert, chemically inert, okay. Why that chemically inert? We can say for steric reason. So we will see now how it will uh, sterically protected by 6 chlorine atom. That's why it is what? Chemically uh, inert or chemically unreactive. So see, sterically protected by 6 chlorine atom. As like this. Okay, here. Here your chlorine. As like this, and कुल मिलाके आपकी जो geometry होगी, वो क्या होगी? Octahedral geometry. Okay, like this. This one chlorine occupying this other four, one, two, three, four. Like this, one chlorine occupying from down side as like this. One, two, three, and this four. Together we will get what? Octahedral geometry. Octahedral geometry, SF6. So, what will be the hybridization beta? Yes, SP3D2. SF6 hybridization 1. SP3D2. I hope you understood this. Okay. Uh, so many times it is a frequently asked question, why SF6 is, why SF6 is chemically inert? Because 6 chlorine atoms are what? Protective. Understood? Okay, so it is frequently, one of the frequently asked question. Sterically protected. Whatever your sulfur that is sterically protected by 6 fluorine atoms. Now we will see here what will be the reaction and how. Means sulfur atoms attacked by, it does not attack by any reagents and it does not undergo uh, any hydrolysis reaction also. But, but see here, uh, if you are concentrating on this SF4, so we will write here, we will mention here one reaction. It's a poor hydrolysis easily. Okay, it's a poor hydrolysis readily, or we can say easily. Forming what? See, yeah. forming this beta. Plus SO2. So you can balance your reaction balance. But when SF6 plus H2O, there is a no reaction. I hope you understood this all okay. about your reactivity towards halogens, monohalides, dihalides, tetrahalides, pentahalides, hexahalides with all structures hybridization you clearly understood I hope. So if any query regarding this all contain you can ask without hesitation okay you have to send your notes okay so take care and stay safe thank you very much